Hi, Josh with PharmacistTips.com with a real quick video on the AccuCheck Guide Meter. Uh, this meter, let's see, I think it runs about $32. Test strips vary. I think the 25 counter paid about $18 for. Um, and some, uh, many insurances cover the AccuCheck so that if you have uh, health care insurance in the U.S., the insurance may pay for a portion of that. So essentially, um, it's kind of a, I really like the holder for the test strips because it's designed so they don't fall out. Um, you just go ahead and remove one. You always want to be certain that you close that lid tightly as exposure to air can reduce the accuracy of test strips. And then you just go ahead and you put that, that silver computery looking end right into the meter. And that meter is going to go ahead and come on and now it's saying apply drop of blood. So we have the AccuCheck ask click lancet device. I have a separate video on show you how to load that but um, essentially there's a drum with six lancets that you load into there and you can poke yourself six times to perform your glucose test. Right there is where that lancet comes out so you can adjust the depth. Uh, they recommend starting around two and then adjusting from there. I find four usually works. Of course you want to make sure you wash your hands with warm soapy water and thoroughly dry them first. And you put that on there. And then there we go. Nice drop of blood. You can gently massage the finger. You don't want to squeeze or milk the tip but just a gentle massage. And then you can go ahead and put that on the drop of blood there. And it says remove right there 109 so um, you can add a comment if you'd like um, and we could call this I'll just call it fasting no I had a little bit to eat a little bit ago and then um, to remove the test strip you just push this button on the side and now that test strip can be disposed of you can go ahead and uh, hold the OK button to shut the meter off and you're done. Uh, go ahead and ask me any questions about the AccuCheck guide in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, uh, thank you for watching.